Surely Gotham always wants to know who Batman is, but they never know how he is. He's a grown man dressed as a bat. They know. I swear these were ghosts written by Bruce and Alfred in that order. Today in school, I was walking down the hallway to go to the bathroom, and some dude walked out of a classroom and tripped me by accident. And I was thinking about Thor too, so I just blurted out, How dare you attack the son of Odin! And he just looked at me, and looked down at his shirt, and it was an Avengers shirt. I think I just made a friend, guys. I ship it! Today I learned human babies are 80% water at birth, a slightly higher water content than bananas, and slightly less than fresh potatoes. Oh, once again shown up by the power and dignity of the root vegetable. Loud noises when you have sensory processing issues is like Russian roulette. Maybe nothing will happen. Maybe you'll spend the next hour sitting in the corner. It's a toss-up! Explain, you elders blob. Sometimes a loud noise breaks the goat. Sometimes a loud noise breaks any body systems for the next 30 minutes or so. Door bangs. Nothing. Loud beep. Spends next 30 minutes sobbing uncontrollably! <sighs> Moots. I just found out moose can dive as deep as 20 feet or six meters for you people outside of the US for aquatic vegetation. Can you imagine like being a diver and you're 20 feet or six meters underwater, it's murky and you run into a moose, a moose. This is by the way, one of the reasons that a regular predator of the moose is the orca whale. I'm sorry, hang on, let me read that one more time. This is, by the way, one of the reasons that a regular predator of the moose is the orca whale. What? Today I learned, despite its association with the supernatural, a full moon rarely occurs on Halloween. The next time this will happen is Halloween, night of 2020. Guys, 2020 might get good! It's gonna be spookier times! Time to gaze into the abyss. The abyss is what I call my inbox. Wait, oh no! Jesus, how many today I learned? Today I learned in 2002, a researcher found that the average eight-year-old British child could identify 80% of Pokemon, but only 50% of common wildlife species. Well, common wildlife species don't normally yell their names at you. Wouldn't that be great though? You're just going outside, going on a nice walk, and suddenly you hear, squirrel, 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 squirrel. Writing prompt. You, a time traveler, accidentally introduced 21st century slang to Shakespeare. For never was a story of more woe. O oh, bard Alexa, playeth us despacito. Animal Crossing villagers be like, you're my bestest friend in the whole world. Thank you for being so awesome. Here's a present for you. Then the present is an 8,750 watt gas powered generator. Animal Crossing things. Human, human, do something for God's sakes help. These are not mine! Chicken nuggets are a rep, meat wrapped in bread. <sighs> you know, I was having a good day. I think we were all having a great day until this. Standing next to sunflowers always makes me feel weak. Like, look at this fucking flower. This flower's taller than me. This flower's winning and I'm losing. Wow, you are not ready to hear about trees. Open up here! Hey, can I get some seven large Cokes and a barbecue sauce? Is Pepsi okay? I guess. I said sulking, my amber-hued orbs peering down because of gravity. Okay, I hand you seven large Cokes and a Pepsi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's the shit that gets me every time. I love it. Childish Gambito concert was canceled. There goes my weekend plans. You know, Pucky, you could barf. You know fucking what? I could. WTF is an acronym. This... Post. Pisses me off. I still can't decide if this is a statement or a question. Time to call Otto's moist boys. No, please do not call them that. Well, he is a very moist boy. He even looks offended at you calling him a moist boy. I have a concept. Thigh high crocs. Concept, no. Too late. I have made them. I feel like if you put those on, they're just part of you forever because of the suction. Turns out Marco didn't really die. He actually skipped town in the heat of battle and achieved the secret dream of opening up a pizzeria two minutes away from my house. So, um, <laughs> oh, the pizza's half off. I was once again having a great day until this. Why on earth has anyone invented a less terrifying way to open biscuits and cinnamon rolls?
Because squishing that much biscuit into that little space teeters on the edge of hubris. The pop is to keep us humble, to remind us that death comes for all. Yeah, I just wanted some biscuits, a fucking existential crisis, Jesus. And finally, writing prompt, write. No!